Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to test your laptop's ability and how to find out your maximum running temperatures when running heavy tasks on it. I'm going to show you a few tools to monitor your computer and others to stress test your system. Now without further ado, let's go. First, getting the required programs to test stability. Okay, this is the initial step. This is where you download all the required programs that we're going to use in this section. These tools are used to stress your computer to the maximum, allowing to check for stability after undervolts, overclocks, or simply just testing the stock config of your laptop. The programs that I recommend using are the following. For the stress test suits, you can use OZZT. Now this tool is used to test your CPU to its limits. Wait. As you can see, this program has a temperature monitor built in. You can check the current voltages on your CPU. As you can see, I've already undervolted my CPU. You can see the CPU usage and the frequency. Over here is where you set up the test. I just recommend setting leaving this like alone, no configuration needed. The next tool is called Formark. Now this one is just to test uh, the GPU in your laptop. Have in mind this does not burn or damage your GPU. This, this tool is used to stress it to the limit so you can see uh, uh, the max temperature that the GPU reaches while you play or do heavy rendering on it. And finally there's a benchmark utility called Heaven Benchmark. This is a free tool from UnEngine and well you can run this one to check if your system is stable after overclocking and undervolting. Have in mind passing this benchmark uh, doesn't mean that heavier games won't crash or anything. This is this is useful to give you an idea of your temperatures. Now, let's go into the tests itself. First, we're going to run OCZT. This will give us the maximum temperature of our CPU alone. The problem with this on laptops is that most laptops share uh, the same cooling pipes between the GPU and CPU and they use individual fans to cool them off. So if you run this test alone you will likely stress your system to the 50% or 60% of its cooling capabilities. Well it all, it all depends on the system you have. So if you want to check the maximum temperatures that your system will get to you need to run this and Formark, both at the same time. This will warranty that all your components will be stressed to the maximum. Like your temperatures will be higher when you play games and your GPU is active and your CPU is also active. So why not test them at the same time and see if your full is stable. There are some monitoring tools like hardware monitor and afterburner. Both connect to your uh, mainboard sensors and give you detailed information about them. So I like using Afterburner because of these graphs. Afterburner also provides in-game statistics. They're shown on the left side of your screen. and You can see temperatures, usage, uh, core, speed, and everything you set it up to. If you want to detach this, just double click it. There you go, you get a good graph. No, I'm gonna test my system just to show you. I'm gonna run OZCT and then I'm gonna run Formark. Now, have in mind I'm also recording this so my frames and scores will be lower. As you can see, my GPU jumped straight to 65 degrees and it's running 
closely to the max. My usage is on max too. Now we're going to check on CPU. Now these are the co individual core temperatures. You can't hear my fans ramping up, but they're spinning loud now. What you want to do is leave this test running for about 10 minutes to give you a clear indication of your maximum temperatures. Also, don't freak out if you get like a max temperature here, way higher than your average one. Because uh, on some systems, the fans take a little bit of time to react to the changes on the, on the tasks they're running. So if the CPU might ramp up to its maximum and temperatures might get a spike. So just pay attention to your um, current values and your averages. As you can see on these graphs, I'm stressing my system to the limits. I already know my maximum temperatures and I know my system is stable. But you should do this to discard problems like overheating uh, or if you're getting crashes in games and you don't know why or if you just want to test if your system came okay from the factory. So I recommend doing this. On a previous video I showed you how to undervolt your system. This will impact your results by a lot. Like you can see at this, this time I got a maximum temperature of 85 but this is because um, the fans took quite a bit of time to speed up. Have in mind, this is just for reference, all your temperatures and stuff will be different than mine. Okay, so I hope this video is any useful to you, because I know this is like some basic stuff for some people, but not many know how to do this correctly. With this, if you pass this test, you can rest assured your laptop or device is running fine and you can just enjoy and play on it. If you like this video, leave a like. If you have any doubt or want to comment something on the video, leave a comment. If you want more content like this, subscribe and leave me a comment about future suggestions. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.